Hey guys, what's up? This is Recreational420, and today this is gonna be another one of those video series things, but I'm gonna start including more of the actual smoking. <laughs> um, I just figure, so this is a cannabis channel. It doesn't really make sense for me to do just, you know, basically to keep the, re the, the smoking to the reviews and the reviews only. Um, while I don't smoke all day every day, uh, I, I do feel that it's appropriate for me to smoke occasionally, you know, from time to time when I'm doing reviews like that, or not reviews, but videos like this, because honestly, that's what I do. I'll sit there and I'll smoke a couple bowls. I go on YouTube and I watch my videos. Like, <laughs> that's my process. So I feel like it, it would be, not that I'm lying or not that I'm like, I don't know. I just feel like it's more genuine, I guess. And I just have to get over the fear of like smoking on camera. And it's not a fear. It's more of a nervousness. Like I told you guys, when I first started doing these reviews, I was nervous as ugh. it was the worst feeling in the world. Like the idea of me talking to a camera, <laughs> especially if somebody was behind that camera was a no go. Like nobody's here now, but um, now I could easily, if my girlfriend's behind there, no problem. Uh, my homie or my buddies or whatever you want to call them. Like if they're standing in front of the camera or behind the camera, I'm still going to be able to talk, do what I'm doing now. It's just, I've gotten a certain level of confidence with myself and my abilities, so I'm just excited, <laughs> I guess. And so I just wanna start including more of my personality, a little bit more me. Um, I'm, we're gonna talk about more of the products. So the reviews, the way the reviews work, like I said, I don't charge anybody for any of those things. Um, currently I, and, I, and i'll never charge farms for a review and i'll never take product for a review um just because i don't feel that like i feel that the second i do that then th th that goes out the window the credibility goes out the window um there are other ways that i can work with brands though so little things here or there um you guys will start seeing um nothing crazy again i kind of just want to play with it and see how things go um, one thing i am really going to shoot for is to get a uh retail sponsor so what that means is a you know dispensary here in my state to sponsor my channel or, or not necessarily my channel but the videos um and, and i have a whole package and all that but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> I guess what I'm saying is I'm just getting more comfortable and I'm starting to figure out where this is going. So uh, again, I wanna say thank you to you guys for hanging out with me and uh, getting to know me. So as, as this progresses, you guys will get to know li like little bits and pieces um, of myself and what I enjoy, my personality, and sooner or later my past. Um, <laughs> I had not the best of upbringing, so I kind of like, I, I legit am one of those people that I, I like closed off um, from like 15, before I was 15. That's like this dark, dark shadow that I never like to go to. Um, so I'll slowly start bringing those things out, not because of any, for the only real purpose behind that is just if there's anybody out there who's going through the things that I've been through, it would be, um, it would be unfair and unfair of me to not mention those things because you know it, it turned me into who i am like yeah i went through a bunch of stuff but here i am this is what it is and that's that so anyway we'll get back into that <laughs> let me get back into the topic today i'm going to be smoking on this stuff here uh with that let me smoke some weed and then we'll talk about some videos all right so uh, the first video I want to talk about, <coughs> excuse me. So the very first video I want to talk about is by Philip DeFranco. Um, he's one of my biggest inspirations and it, it, as a YouTuber, just his whole show, the way he's, you know, he tries to stay neutral whenever he's doing a story. And that's basically, I want to take that kind of like set up and transfer it over into like the cannabis industry and if i can pull that off i think i have a shot <laughs> um but basically this video specifically he puts up like five videos a week um this one is about net neutrality so the internet is under attack is the the, the title of the video and then the reason why I'm going to show it to you is for two reasons. Number one, it breaks down what net neutrality is. This is almost mind boggling to me that this is still a fight that we are having to have online. It feels like year in, year out, but it's not because it is once again, another example of what we constantly see companies and money over freedom and people. For those of you that have not heard me speak on this before, or maybe you just figured out what the internet is. The idea of net neutrality is a free and open internet. 
uh, what it means, what it represents, so that there's, you know, he, he gives you a really good explanation. And then also he provides a good explanation of why net neutrality is needed and the ways that companies are currently data favoring. If that doesn't make sense, go check out the video. Um, and so it, it gives you a window, like instantly you're like, oh wow, they're already doing that through this what's going to stop them once this you know net neutrality is gone and it's not treated like a utility anymore so it, it's really important for people who um, have any sort of desire hope or plans to do anything online um, and he just does such a good job explaining it that i don't want to butcher it <laughs> so i just highly recommend that you guys go check that out uh the second video that i'm going to uh, recommend is the <laughs> So I don't know if you guys watch uh, The Life of Juan or Han or Juan. It's not Juan because that's my name. Um, the Life of Han. Um, and uh, what he does is he goes around and like talks about different cultures, tries different foods. It's kind of like a, like a food travel type series. Um, well, this is a short video. It's only like five minutes long. But what he does is he goes and uh, he, he like he goes and like hangs out in dc with one of his friends and then at one point they end up doing pottery and i swear to god this is the funniest thing ever uh, Cooley, what's yeah. up good to see you buddy good to see you again too man yeah i didn't know you had a full-on gallery this is you really doing this well now you know or let's do this man let's do it let's make some pots. let's do it baby are we going shirtless pottery dave um why wouldn't you um I, if you if like okay pottery cool i might be willing to try it but i can almost guarantee you i'm gonna keep my shirt on the entire time and that's the only hint i'm gonna give you the rest of it if you want to go check that out the link will be down in the description uh and number three <clears throat> is gonna be high reviews so i found this guy just digging through videos trying to find other stuff um i wanted a cannabis related video that wasn't just about the weed um so this guy did an oreo review <laughs> about oreo o's and the one thing i'm gonna know is like dude really committed to do this because he had to go and spend 17 dollars. and if you're paying that much and you had it mail ordered on my guess is you went to amazon and dang they got you bro um <laughs> but seriously he paid 17 bucks for the video or to to do the review and so you know let's just help him out by going and give him a, a little bit of traffic and checking it out it's actually pretty funny his personality is really good so th that's really what i like what i watch is people's personalities of how i remember this tasting as a kid but also being worth a 17 dollars cereal that i got shipped to my fucking house all right so i'm gonna stop fucking talking and um yeah we're gonna finally open this box all right um but yeah so with that that that's that's it right there for the show i'm gonna add a couple links in there um and we'll see what happens but let me know what you guys think <laughs> um do you guys enjoy this format do you hate it do you think i should just stick to the reviews and maybe do that um i really like the more feedback you guys give me the better this channel is going to get for you guys and with all that uh, this has been Recreational420. If you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and hit that sub button. If you're on Facebook, make sure you follow the page. And I'll be back again with you guys soon.